Welcome to Digital Asset News. Take a top stories in cryptocurrency and digital assets. Breaking down to bite-sized pieces. So today we've already talked about the news. We know there's a great thing going on in Brazil, ETF being uh, approved, and then maybe an ETF over here in the States. Who knows? Well, only time will tell. And then the uh, market is raging at $2.2 trillion. Maybe up a little bit more by now. I don't know. So uh, I want to talk to you real quick about why I created this channel and uh, what's going to happen in, in coming up in the future. So First of all, I created this channel about a year and a half ago or so. I think it was uh, December 2019. Yeah, 2019, 2020. Now here we are. Yeah, about a year and a half. Wow, time's flying. And uh, the reason I did it was quite simple. I was bored. I was super bored. Um, I've My whole history was uh, military, army medic. And I got into, uh, uh, I was a 91 Charlie, uh, which is a nurse. And then I did all different types of things with the medical industry and uh, sales and whatnot. And then I got out and I started a couple of uh, websites. One was for a nursing education website. And that did, does pretty well. Uh, it's pretty much hands-off now. Everything's automated. I did an Amazon FBA business. And that's also pretty much hands-off. I just kind of talk to distributors and not a big deal. And then we have a sports facility, me and my wife. And uh, we have other people run it for us. So it was kind of just a just boredom, honestly, because I was always talking about crypto and people were like, you need to shut up because it makes no sense. This is in 2019 when, uh, of course, crypto, everybody was like, it's dead. So stop it. But uh, I knew it wasn't. I thought it wasn't. And then I, I, I made the channel. And then it just kind of, you know, developed from there. So that was like the first reason. Really, it was boredom. And then as time went on, uh, I realized that um, a lot of people don't know a lot about money. That's really what it came down to. Even, you know what, even, even myself, I, I didn't understand a lot of different uh, aspects of it. And I really had to learn, especially like, you know, how the Federal Reserve is about as federal as Federal Express, how uh, quantitative easing just really dilutes, uh, dilutes the whole value, how the U.S. dollar has been in decline since uh, the 1920s, and uh, so on and so forth, and purchasing power and whatnot, and how cryptocurrency really isn't, even though it's a speculative asset, uh, really what it uh, uh, entails as far as even Bitcoin uh, goes. So uh, there was there was that part, and uh, I got to learn a lot of great things, you know, coming up to this point. And now I will tell you this: I mean, even in, in that regard, I'm still a novice, and I still try to learn as much as I can every day. But when I see when I see people in the comments or, I, you know, I read all the comments section and I hear about people and I meet people out in, in the real world and I, and I talk to them about cryptocurrency, it's shocking to me how people just don't really understand the basics of just fundamental principles of, of money and how to grow their money. Like, uh, I'll give you a prime example. So I was uh, talking to uh, a gentleman who came over here to help fix these doors over here at, at, the, uh, at the pool room. And, uh, you know, he's a hard worker, does real great, uh, makes decent money, you know, uh, honest day's work. And he's just talking, I was talking about cryptocurrency. He's like, yeah, it sounds pretty interesting. And I said, um, so what do you guys, what do you do with your money? He's like, yeah, you know what I do? I give it to my wife uh, every week, you know, whenever I get paid and she takes that money and she pays all the bills and then she st and, uh, puts it in our savings account and saves it. I was like, what then? He's like, that's it. That's the whole plan. We're just going to save. And I was like, huh, it sucks. It's awful. I didn't say it to him, you know, uh, at that point. I just go, hey, you know what you'd like to see? Uh, DanTeachesCrypto.com. Go go check that out. And <laughs> because that might, that might uh, you know, lead you on to something. But uh, I just thought about it. I'm like, you know, I think that's, that's the basic thing that people do is like, I'm just going to save money. And then I save up for whatever and I buy it and I retire. That's it. I'm like, that's... I mean, if now that you understand the, I mean, we understand the principles of, of inflation. I mean, to really beat that, you've got to really increase your money supply by 2% because that's roughly the rate of uh, inflation, 2 to 3%, somewhere around there. And then with the quantitative easing that's going on right now, the trillions of dollars that the American uh, uh, <laughs> economy is, uh, is pumping into it, or the treasury, and the Fed is really just wrecking everything. So if you think that just saving money is going to work, uh, it doesn't really work like it isn't, it's not going to happen because the purchasing power is going to go down because it's, it's been diluted so much. And uh, I take a look at these people and I'm like, holy smokes, this is bad news. And, uh, but I mean, look, even growing up, it was the same thing with me. Like, I don't know where you're from. I have no idea what country you're in. Uh, statistically, uh, the most viewers I have are from Australia. And then comes uh, America, then Canada, Europe, UK, India, uh, parts of Africa, and uh, uh, South America. So I, I, I mean, I'm, we're, we're from all over, right? I, I don't know what your schools taught you as far as uh, financial literacy, 
But in America, they teach uh, nothing, zero. I, I, I think I took one class about how to write a check or something like that, and that was it. And then beyond that, uh, it really doesn't really talk to us too much about you know what to do and, and how to save and, and how to actually grow our money uh, as time goes on. So it all started you know getting boredom, talking about this channel, and now it becomes a little bit more. It's about uh, helping people understand like a little bit about you know uh, how to actually grow their money. And of course, I cannot give anybody financial advice, but I am just one person I think that people should you know should take a look at as as they continue their journey and do their own research and find different things right because uh it's not just me if you listen to just me that's a that's a bad decision yeah you have to get it uh, from multiple sources because your goals are different than my goals and that's pretty much how it works out so it goes from there to you know where we are at right now and then the last reason uh for me creating this this channel uh was you know, I got to be honest with you, uh, as I have gone into these industries and uh, have done less and less, <laughs> or I have more and more time in my hands, um, and now I fill it up with with, with these videos, um, I just want people to, honestly, between us, uh, kind of sucks. Because even though I'm busy here, and I'm glad that I, I get more opportunities to do more things as time goes on, uh, all of my friends, even though they, they listen to me a little bit on crypto, um, they're all working. And they're in this thing called a job, which is, in my opinion, job stands for just over broke. And when you have these jobs, uh, you don't have a lot of time and you can't really do the things that you want to do. And uh, that just leaves me just here uh, doing, you know, these videos. So in all honesty, this channel was built in all honesty to give you some information and power to where you wouldn't need a job and you could get off the just over broke train and you could actually do the things that you want to do and have all the freedom units, people call that cash, uh, that you need to have so you can do the things that you really, really want to do. And uh, then you can hang out with me in different places that I'm at and you wouldn't have to go to a stupid job. That's the big thing. And then finally, what's going to happen with the with this channel is that uh, it'll keep going on. It'll keep uh, continuing. We might do some modifications here and there, but for, for me and my wife personally, we'll be moving to Puerto Rico. And the reason why we're gonna do that is multiple, multiple reasons. And one of those, that which probably doesn't escape you, is that uh, for tax benefits and um, you know capital gains and things like that. I know some people will say, well, you need to pay, pay, your, uh, pay your fair share of tax. And I would talk about this before. I'm like, look, man, uh, I pay my taxes. I started paying tax when I was 15 years old and I had a, I had a job and, uh, I was like, what the heck is this? And I wasn't paying taxes since then. I paid taxes then. I paid taxes in the military for eight years. I paid taxes when I was doing all the different jobs. And now I hear, now here I am in my 40s. And I'm like, you know what? Uh, all these roads and bridges and different things you said you're going to pay on, where the hell, what happened to all my money? You're mismanaging it. And it's, it's my responsibility to do that. So if people are going to say, oh, you shouldn't do that, you should stay there and pay your taxes. Sure. So I'm just going to go to where I'm treated best, just like they talk about the nomad capitalist. So that's what's going on. I'm hoping that you who are watching this video, uh, you understand and you start to learn some more things and, and you're able to actually meet up with me in Puerto Rico and then we can all just hang out and do the things that we really wanna do. Because I gotta guess that maybe your, uh, what you wanna do is not sit behind a desk or not have a boss or not have to go to work uh, every day in those that crushing commute traffic or uh, have to break your back in some job that you just uh, despise. That could be me, I don't know. So that's uh, that's it. So first of all, uh, if you like the video, give it a thumbs up, that uh, helps a lot. Hopefully you understand a little bit more of why I did this uh, channel and where I'm going. Uh, consider subscribing, that always helps uh, uh, to reach more people. And that's it for today. So thanks so much for watching, I appreciate it. And I'll see you on the next one.